It's Mr. Skeleton Man One here, uh, here to show you how to um, run Oblivion on a Mac, 100% playable with mods. Um, I know this is kind of outdated now that Skyrim's out now, a couple days ago, but you know who doesn't love nostalgic gaming? Um, so, yeah, a uh, couple things um, you're gonna have to need. It is a multi-step process. Yeah, a little bit complicated. I've done complicated things. Um, uh, it's best if you do have a little experience with uh, computers, Macs in general. Um, so you will need these things. Just ignore this and that. Um, so I'll explain those to you later. Um, but so you need ESO.7z. You need installer.gmg, and you need the no CD crack dot RAR. Um, you need those three files along with the game, preferably on a disk. If you do not have the disk, then you will need to download it from a torrent or from ex any external site. But it must be the PC version. I really stress this. There is a torrent out there that is the um, the d the download for um, Mac um, that comes in its own wrapper. And you may be thinking, oh yeah, I might as well get that. Don't listen to this guy. Trust me, I've done that. It's horrible. It crashes and crashes and crashes. It never stops crashing. I found the right things, um, and I put it together. Mods do work. Um, so, yeah. All right, so now let's get started. Um, preferably, you want to have the disc. Like I said earlier, I do not have the disc currently with me. So, if you want to go out and torrent it, that's you, you do that. Um, I need to... No, I'm not telling you to torrent it, so you, if you get in trouble, that's not my fault. I am sorry. But, um, so, because what I'm doing here is actually legal because I've already bought the game. But, um, you will need, um, and the, the thing called installer. You open that DMG. It'll open. So, installer, just drag to your application to your desktop or whatever. And now, you will open that. Well, if you put the CD in, then it will say like Oblivion or Elder Scrolls for Oblivion on here or whatever. If you have torrented it, then um, uh, then it should say like the torrent file and if you've if you know how to torrent things then I don't then good for you, but I mean, I don't know. If you it it should say like this is what it should look like in here. It should have a bunch of files like this. Um, it will appear like that. Um, you just need to find setup.exe right here. So what you do, you go to installer. It'll take a little bit to load up, but after you do that, um, right here. Okay, so you go to wherever it is wherever your setup.exe is. In this case, since I don't have the disk with me, it's on the F drive fold my F drive folder. Just ignore my location of it. It will be on your desktop. Then you click setup.exe. I'm not gonna click it because it gives me an error. Then um it'll it'll go and you just click continue. Um and then it'll say and then it'll say where do you want it to where do you want it to be? So um, by default, it's in the C drive slash your name slash program files slash Bethesda slash um, pro slash Oblivion. Where you want it to go, you click browse, and there should be a, a, a CD drive icon. I can't show it on here, but a CD drive icon with an underscore and no name. You click that. Then, um, then what you do, you go to users and then you go to your name and then you go to desktop Oh, beforehand I'm sorry you should make a, a folder that you know it's gonna be there like say say like oblivion or whatever and you click that and then click that folder and then click install um, um I so then once it, it'll install and everything and then you'll have everything on your desktop now what you're gonna do is um, open ESO.7z. 
if you have uh, something to ex you'll need something that extracts 7Zs and .RIRs for this, I highly recommend Stuff at Expander. That will be in the description as well. Once you extract this, annoyingly enough, it'll extract it. It'll come out with a zip. You just extract that, and even more annoyingly so, it goes into a folder. So you click the folder, and in here there will be two things: Elder Scrolls for Oblivion and Elder Scrolls for Oblivion preferences. Now, what you'll need to do is go to this and click Show Package Contents. In here, there will be contents. You click that, resources, trans gaming, C drive, program files. Now, this is what my wrapper looks like. Um, right here. So let me just go through this C drive program files. Okay. So then you will need to name your folder down here Oblivion or something. So Oblivion, and then. It, this should have automatically have all your stuff in it because it's in it, the folder that you put on your desktop. So you want to name that Oblivion with a capital O and drag it into into the program files in the wrapper. So it should look like this. Bam, right there. Now, what you will need to do is where is this located? Okay. Now, if you want mods to work, take this folder put it into then you go to Mac HD uh, no you go to your name then you go to library this is how to get mods to work um, if you're a PC gamer then you know what I'm talking about if you don't care about mods then you don't need to do this but mods are pretty much um, user generated external things they're short for modifications library then you need to go to preferences no I'm, I'm uh, Preferences, right here, right here. Preferences, Elder Scrolls for. Pref. I think I am right. I don't. Elder Scrolls preferences, right here. Now you're gonna take this, drag it into here. I already have one in here because that's where um. Uh, that's what because because that already automatically generates it when you first start the game. This is where it holds like what resolution you're running at it. This is what this will hold your game saves. And then P drive and then here. So now if you want mods to run, you'll need to go to user, local settings, application data, oblivion, should these two files should here. I drag this file name oblivion up onto right here and then my program files up under there as well so I can mod offhand. So now there'll be two things called DLC lists.txt and plugins.txt. If it's not there then you need to create it yourself. Um, so plugins.txt this is all the mods I have on here. So and this mod I these two mods I created myself but so then you need to type in this text, or I think the files are already on there. But so to mod, I think I'm not going to go into explaining mods. But then once you download the mod and put it, put it into the um, put it into your program files and whatever, you need to go to this location and put the name in .esp or .esm. Like say if I wanted to install like say what what mod um say just say if it's called like floating castle then you would type the name of the ESP file then you can just go look at the name but say if it was called like floating castle just f l o a t i n g c s castle dot esp and then you would save it that's telling that's telling the game that your that that data file is active so it's here. This state, this file is used to tell Oblivion what data files to load. Well, you get the point, right? I'm not saving this, but so right here, Oblivion should launch. This is my proof that the game works and it runs seamlessly. It'll load here. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. 
I'll put the link in the description. You will need the shaders fix, or else your your ground will your ground will have um. Hold on one second. Your ground will be all rainbowy and like purple and rainbowish. So all the sounds work. Um, this game works. So like here. Um, I'll just load my most recent save. Um, so, um, yeah, I think this is pretty much it. So, I'll just do like maybe like 30 seconds or so of gameplay just to, so you guys can see, um, stuff and whatnot. So, um,. So this is the proof that it works, guys. Um, yeah, you have no no idea. Okay, why is it lagging? Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is the proof that it works. Now there's someone after me. I'm in various amount of mods. You can see I have, like, super arrows. Uh, this is my character. Once again, it's lagging, but... Yeah, as you can see here, I have a modded race and a modded suit of armor, plus a pose mod. So yeah, um, uh, this has been a tutorial or, of how to run a Blavine on a Mac. Uh, yeah, you, um, all, and again, all the links are in the description. Have a good day.